With the arrival of the 10th season in 2023, fans want to know if there is a possibility that they are gonna see The Blacklist Season 11 happen over at NBC. Is it too early to even consider such a thing? I may have. And if you want the whales on my list, you have to play by my rules. The Blacklist has grown to be one of the most popular and successful broadcast television series since Buck and Camp developed it for NBC in 2013, thanks to James Spader's energetic acting performance. What list? Let's call it The Blacklist. That sounds exciting. That's why we're all here, of course. My wish list. From the beginning of the NBC drama series until the conclusion of the 10th season, Spader has played Raymond Red Reddington since Spader's original co-lead, Megan Boone, and creator and co-showrunner John Balkenkamp left the blacklist after season 8, rumors that the show was nearing its endgame have been circulating for a few years. However, the show remained a consistent performer last season and it was renewed for a 10th season in February 2022. During the final years of the blacklist run on NBC, a lot has changed. Megan Boone, the series' star, played Elizabeth Keene for eight seasons before her character passed away, and her absence has been felt ever since. I'm willing to kill you. You don't have it in you to kill me. And you never will. And that's why I'm gonna win. What a terrible waste of your life. Also, the Emmy-winning series has suffered greatly from Bogan Camp's departure. Fortunately, Eisendrath had been a producer and writer on the team for a long time, so he was able to pick up and continue the plot of The Blacklist in Season 9 with hardly any trouble. Though it might be further explored in The Blacklist Season 10, Reddington and Elizabeth's enigmatic connection was never fully explained before the character left. In addition, Season 10 of The Blacklist may revisit some of the series' biggest moments. That also includes Mira Malik's passing. Although an assassin killed Mira in Season 1, her daughter Sia is expected to join the task force in Season 10. The Blacklist may be able to finish Mira's story now, all these years later, thanks to Sia Malik's debut, giving the show a chance to explore some delicate moments and lay the groundwork for Sia's future. The Blacklist has value because it is based on the best possible intelligence. Information that was not available yesterday and will be obsolete tomorrow. The show could take a lot of different directions in its final season, but Red's final ride is certain to have some additional surprises. Additionally, thanks to strong global sales and a very lucrative Netflix streaming deal, The Blacklist has continued to be a significant source of revenue for lead studio Sony Pictures TV. Due to NBC Universal's 50% ownership of the show, the broadcast network has an additional incentive to continue airing it for as many seasons as possible because the company shares in the revenue. So does this indicate that there will be more seasons in the future? There are still a few more episodes of The Blacklist to be released, but the show's production company is currently streaming season 10 of the show. As a result, it's hard to say whether The Blacklist will return for season 11 or not. In light of season 11, what will be taken into account? Probably most important, there is the issue of money. In relation to its revenue, how much does this show cost? Just compare the season 9 episodes to the season 1 episode to see that the show's production size and ambition are not what they once were. With the way it films action scenes, it can occasionally save some money but there are still expenses to take into account. It's important to keep in mind that NBC does not have complete ownership of the program and that filming in New York City is not cheap. There's also the creative limitation of the remaining blacklist spots. We don't know if there are even enough names for another season to be possible unless the show airs a lot of repeats in season 10, or they simply change the episode titles. I have to say, I'm finding it hard to resist a chess pun in this moment. I mean, if you can't say checkmate at a time like this. Checkmate. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. The majority, if not all, of the cast members are expected to return for season 11. However, no official star cast list has been released as of yet. Of course, its star, James Spader, will reprise his role as criminal mastermind turned supergrass analyst Raymond Red Reddington. As for the other key players, we would also anticipate comebacks from Diego Klatzenhoff, Harry Lennox, and Hisham Tofik. In the new episodes, Anya Banerjee will make her debut. It may excite fans who have been following the show since season 1 to learn that she has ties to the past. She's the off-screen daughter of the tragically assassinated Mira Malik, played by Parminder Nagra. We can anticipate that Michael Bonini will return for season 11 as well, as he has also seemed to confirm that he'll be appearing at some point in season 10. The return of former blacklisters Levern Cox and Daniel Soli was also hinted at in the season 10 trailer. The characters of Amir Arison and Laura Son left the show, but since they're still alive, it's possible that they'll make a cameo or even a full-fledged comeback in later seasons if the show is renewed. 
I'm Raymond Reddington. I run the most intricate, lucrative criminal operation in existence. As was already mentioned, the showrunners have made every effort to keep the details of the plot of the upcoming episode a secret, but that doesn't mean we're in the dark about the direction the show will take. Wu Jing is out for revenge after the events of Season 9. With access to the list of additional blacklisters, Wu Jing will likely play a significant role in the upcoming season by enlisting the aid of other criminals. Red helped the FBI capture to bring him down. Red, who has also helped chase criminals in previous seasons, will now have the opportunity to understand what it's like to be the prey. Sia is anticipated to join the task force, which is now shorthanded, and she might try to find out more information about Mira's death from Season 1. The Blacklists will be able to look at significant occasions from earlier seasons of the show from various angles thanks to the death of Mira Malik. Sia Malik, who's probably enraged by the secrecy surrounding her mother's work and death, will be entering the task force from the outside. This story fold will give the organization a new perspective. In contrast to recent twists in the Blacklist that involve character deaths, the Blacklist now has the chance to wrap up Mira's saga 10 years later, which makes Sia Malik's debut all the more exciting. As Sia learns more about her mother's past, the Blacklist can deftly explore the emotional aspects of Mira's passing and her involvement with the task force. As a result, the Blacklist should experience a new kind of drama and its viewers should develop entirely new emotional connections. Fans want closure and wrapping up the series too soon would mean hastily patching up things between Raymond and Liz, who had one of the best if not the most complicated relationships on the show, which would be a waste after such a long period of story development. It will take at least a full season of wrapping things up for the story to have a truly satisfying ending. In that sense, the show should end eventually, but it must first return to Liz. As stated, it would take time because there are so many loose ends to tie up. What happens to Liz? What exactly was Red's big secret? One theory holds that Liz Keen's mother, who underwent extensive surgery, is Raymond Reddington from The Blacklist. This theory has always been around, but it didn't take off until the end of season 8 for two seasons. The first comes from a conversation between Red and Liz in the Blacklist Season 8 when Liz asks him if he knew her mother, and Red replies with a knowing smile that he knew Katerina very well. The letter Red writes to Liz in the Blacklist Season 8 before she passes away serves as the second hint. Liz receives a note from Katerina that, according to Raymond Reddington of the Blacklist, will explain everything. Given that Katerina Rostov's whereabouts are unknown, Raymond Reddington of the Blacklist may in fact be Liz's mother. So smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. If the Blacklist Season 10 does reveal who he really is, it most likely won't happen until the very end, or possibly in a potential Season 11. Even then, the Blacklist is pretty good at defying expectations, so there's a chance that the truth will still be unclear. See you in the next video.